Ladies and gentlemen, this is Halidox signing in, picking up exactly where we left off in the previous video. We're gonna keep playing through this Honored Definitive Edition. Uh, uh, last time I got out of the sewers, got picked up on a boat by uh, this gentleman here, I believe. And uh, we now are uh, at a secret headquarters for the Loyalists, who are loyal to the uh, Empress, who was murdered in the first um, first episode. And yeah, we're just continuing from there. Just, just doing a bit of exploring. I like exploring this. This world is a, uh, I mean, outside of the dull browns and and yeah, like the murky, nasty water, uh, it's it's pretty vibrant when you can get some actual stuff on the screen. Let's see. To say, hound pits. God, that door is huge. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if I'm if I'm bending down to look at the keyhole, that means it's like almost twice my size. <laughs> okay. Well. This I I know it's supposed to like have this soul. Oh my goodness. Sir. Attention all citizens. I guess I'm not getting in through there. extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Violators will be subject to interrogation and detained when necessary. Remember, the boldest measures are the safest. I, uh, a couple months ago I played through The Order 1886 on, on the PS4. And it's got the, it's got a very, it's got the same aesthetic as that. Very, very similar. Although this is a bit more steampunkish. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. This is, you cannot kill the Rat Plague. They want me to go in here. They want me to go over here. I'm gonna go over here first. Welcome to the Hound Pit Pub, sir. How may I help? You? Hello, sir. I am Wallace, and this is Cecilia. We have been informed of your arrival, and will do our best to stay out of your way while you conduct your business. Yes. Lydia's a servant here as well. I'm gonna go through the door though. I wanna see what happens. So it's starting at last. Oh, I guess it didn't matter which way I went. Our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Trevor. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of your fancy dress parties. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my wit. But it's a fair point, as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. I'm going to do a bit of exploring on the outside. I just wanted to finish that conversation. Like, I wanted to look at this. Yeah, because we only saw the one side of it as we were approaching. Let's see. Looks like there might be something to climb later, or at least a way to climb up it. Let's just take a look out of here further. They said that this was like a closed down part of the city because of the plague, yeah, because <laughs> these giant walls. Blood from the eyes. I guess I'll get to all this stuff in due time. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Old Port District has been added to the evacuation list. The Weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through 
the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Month of rain, isn't that every month in the UK? <laughs> Later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Intriguing. All right. I just want to check the rest of the bar. Giant distillery. Well, oh. I'll go talk to him in a minute. I just do want to explore the rest of this, like go behind the bar and everything. Oh, cool. Apricot tart. Do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Uh, flooded district. That doesn't sound pleasant any way you put it. Oh, well, we got all these doors open. So I take it that goes down to where I thought that other trap door opened up. Let's just check up here. If I may, I am the personal assistant to Lord Pendleton, and one of the senior servants at Pendleton House, as was my father. Now I am entrusted with this house, the home of the Loyalists. I have never seen the Admiral fail at any venture. If order can be restored to the city of Dunwall, I believe he can do it. If anyone can get your old life back, it's him. Oh, goodness, that was quite expensive. Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in happier days, but you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which, Wallace, please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well, I'll begin again tomorrow. Well, that's cool. All right. I guess I'm just going to rob this dude blind. Doesn't seem like he's hurting for money. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's Mr. Wallace, we already talked to him. Oh. I'm not going to read this now, but uh, I, I did read that. Yeah, you're supposed to... Looks like we'll pick up books along the way as well. Let's see. Is either one of these... Oh, there we go. There's the first part. Goodness, all sorts of money around here. Actually, hold on. I'll, that way, if somebody wants to read it, we can... Uh, you can just pause the video. Like I said, I'm not going to read it right now, though.
All right, and yeah, we'll do that other one as well. Come on. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero sent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But put, but back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Cold Ridge? And if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of one in five. Well, that's a pleasant thought. Once again, I'm just doing this just so in case anybody wants to read it. Just pause the video. Log entry 1-4. Seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. With Pendleton's voting block and my military connections, all we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point, we need a man who can kill the bastards for us. Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. End ball. Is this off? Switch. Switch, where the hell is the... Let's see what's in this room here. Attention done, all citizens. Lady Emily Caldwin was abducted six months ago. Her mother's terrible murder. Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late Empress is required to speak to the... We watch at once. My, you must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. I'm sorry it's so dark. We can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic, though, isn't it? Okay, alright. Well, oh. I just, like, straight up went out there real easily. See, it just seemed bunk for the normal folk. There's a coin up there. Okay, so yeah, this was back around to the whiskey room that I saw. Still can't. Still, I'm not high enough to cross over to that thing. I do want to get to that big. Tall Attention, tower. all citizens. Curfew extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Let's take a look Violators at this will be subject to interrogation oh. and detained when necessary. Remember, the boldest measures are the safest. It's just like a washroom or a restroom. I was gonna say, didn't I already read a gaffer's tale? My room was upstairs, like all the way upstairs. Are you gonna shove me all the way up here? Okay, so there is an escape route. Ah, okay. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress. 
but something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out. If I understand it right. I guess the far addict is better than nothing. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Old Port District has been added to the evacuation list. The Weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. That's most of that taken care of, so I'm going to run across here real quickly because I do want to... Okay. There are all sorts of books, goodness. It's so strange that somebody would decide to like sleep over here. That's just my personal opinion. Like I knew the tower didn't look exactly stable, but goodness. However, it's staying there is some brave is a brave soul. All right, let's head back. Let's see what else I can do here. I'll talk to Pietro. I got to go down one more. Those four stories, goodness. All right, let's talk to Pietro and see what he has to say. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now the tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. I was gonna say, I just randomly turn on all this stuff before they go around. Second solution. All these books? Golly. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases of Mega Powdered Crystal, Tybian, or what's wrong with the metals in Crystal? King Sparrow Feathers. If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe <laughs> at the academy, everything you needed was paid for by the tarp and handed out willy-nilly. But this is my bar, or what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on food, oil, elixir, building materials, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, and nobody's going to miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. <laughs> That he wants this like, drop. Oh, is, is that a portal reference? Is that what that's supposed to be? <laughs> Goodness, this is fairly soon.
All right. Goodness. This dude is definitely a bit of a bookworm. Necessary legal amnesty. I was gonna say what you're planning is probably sounds pretty, uh, pretty uh, illegal. Oh, okay. Empty chambers. Okay, so I can't get in there. That door has a portal thingy on it. Let's open the trunk. So let's get this highly explosive. I was gonna say if it's just gonna straight roll out. I was gonna say didn't it say it's a uh, kind of expensive? <laughs> or uh, not kind of expensive, but kind of uh, explosive. Oh, this tank is empty. Okay, I guess I'll... Does that say empty empty tank dispenser? Am I just crazy? Oh, it does say empty oil tank. Alright, well that's what I get, so... Perfect. Now plug it in. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Oh, look what he's making. The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will be terror to you. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Mm, I wouldn't say normally, but... Hands out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. All right, here we go. Let's have a look indeed. Ring razor, trap that can be placed on nearly any service. Alright, wire tool. I'm gonna get one of these, this sounds interesting. And, okay, these aren't that expensive, so I'll grab a couple more of these. I wish I hadn't wasted them all on that previous level, but oh well. Oh, upgrades, here we go. Yes. I should have done this first. Should have been paying more attention. Oh, well. I tend to like to go for the most expensive stuff first. Uh, yeah, I do. We'll do combat sleep dart. This actually sounds pretty useful. Okay. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. I already looked around sleep enough. Well. Okay, I was gonna say is gonna make me go upstairs or just gonna Somewhere else. 
Destroy an enemy, any enemy in your path or adopt a stealthier approach. I don't remember this being blocked off earlier. Maybe I'm just crazy. Okay. Okay, it's a dream sequence. Never mind. That would explain why it's blocked off. <laughs> Life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that many call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. Sorry, I'm just, okay, so press left trigger to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash to the world. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Aiming at ledges will allow you to blink forward and climb up. Hold left trigger to target your destination with precision. A blue sphere indicates that you should reach your destination. A blue arrow indicates that you will climb up when you reach your destination. Okay. Just get a better look at everything before I continue on. Okay. Oh, and I see my meter there. Okay. Alright, that stuff's just kind of out there. So we need to... Oh, here. Take the bridge. That would probably help. As I said, I didn't see the thingy. Okay. Uh-oh. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. Okay, it just says you cannot save her over and over and over and over and over. I just want to save this. Piero Spiritual Remedy. Okay, so yeah, there's mana potions and that sort of stuff. Oh goodness! Did not expect that. <laughs> Nearly fell off in this void area. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there I got an arrow there. Oh, okay. These are people that are probably kidnapped her. Corvo, I am very sad. They say that you're dead like mother, but I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it under the river because if you, because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. Okay, so it's outside the where she was staying. Come on, pick it up. Gosh, I don't know why that was so hard. Okay, so this dude is the whole design for the city. Dunwall. Okay, so there's Dunwall. We got the rivers through it and everything. It looks like there's stuff across the way. This world's kind of cool. Alright. I think I'm going to stop the video right here and we'll just continue on with the sequence right when I get back. As of right now, this is Halidoc. Peace out.